Hello everyone. Welcome back to ProMind classes. Hope that you all are doing well. As we have completed class 7 to geography and CRT. So in this video, we are going to discuss the glossary of class 7 to geography and CRT. And the glossary would be in alphabetical order. So let's get started. Abiotic resource. Abiotic factors refer to all the non-living, that is, chemical and physical factors present in the atmosphere, hydrosphere, and lithosphere. Sunlight, air, precipitation, minerals, and soil are some example of abiotic factors. Air pressure. Air pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by the weight of air on the earth's surface. As we go up the layers of atmosphere, the pressure falls rapidly. The air pressure is highest at sea level and decreases with the height. Atmosphere Atmosphere is the thin layer of earth that surrounds the earth. It is made up of various gases such as oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, dust particles and water vapor. The gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it. It protects us from harmful rays and scarring heat of the sun. Barter system. Barter system is a trade in which goods are exchanged without the use of money. Biosphere. The biosphere is a narrow zone of earth where land, water, air interact with each other to support life. It is in this zone that life exists. There are several species of organisms that are vary in size from microbes and bacteria to large mammals. Biotic resource. The biotic resource are the living beings, or you can say the living things. The biotic or living components are human beings, plants, animals, trees. Chinook wind. Chinook is a hot wind that blows in winter. Being hot, it rises the temperature within a short time. These increase in temperature results in the melting of snow, making the pasture lands available for grazing of animals. Clay Clay is a type of fine grain natural soil material containing clay minerals. Clay develops plasticity when wet due to a molecular film of water surrounding the clay particles, but become hard, brittle and non-plastic upon drying or firing. Climate The average weather condition of a place for a longer period of time represents the climate of a place. Coniferous forest. They are found in the higher latitude of northern hemisphere, such as in the Himalayas and are also known as the taiga. Core. 
The core is the innermost layer of the earth, which lies below the mantle. The innermost layer, called the core, stretches to about 3,500 kilometers. The core is divided into outer core and inner core. The outer core is 2,300 kilometer thick layer that lies below the mantle. Crust. Crust, it is the uppermost layer over the Earth's surface. It is thinnest of all the layers. It is about 35 km on the continental masses and only 5 km on ocean floors. Deserts Desert areas are characterized by low rainfall, scanty vegetation and extreme temperatures. Depending on the temperatures, there can be hot deserts or cold deserts. The Sahara Desert is the hottest and world's largest desert. Ecosystem Ecosystem is a community of living organisms in conjunction with non-living components of their environment. Things like air, water and mineral soil etc. interacting as a system. Endogenic forces. Endogenic forces, the forces that act in the interior of the earth are called as endogenic forces. Environment. Environment is everything that is around us, which can be living or non-living things. It includes physical, chemical, and other natural forces. Natural environment comprises land, water, air, plants, and animals. Human beings interacted with the environment and modify it according to their needs. Exogenic forces The forces that work on the surface of the earth are called as exogenic forces. Example of exogenic forces includes the erosion, oxidation and reduction, mass wasting, weathering, hydration, etc. Exosphere The part of the atmosphere in which it is possible to breathe normally without aid. The portion of troposphere from sea level to an altitude of about 13,000 feet, that is 4,000 meters, are termed as ecosphere. Flora and Fauna The flora and fauna of a place are its plants and animals present in a particular region. Forest An area with high density of trees is called a forest. A forest is a system which is composed of plants, animals and microorganisms. Forest is habitat Forest is the habitat for a variety of living beings. Many plants, animals and microbes live in the forest. Crossland Crossland, an area in which the vegetation is dominated by a nearly continuous cover of grasses is known as crossland. Hydrosphere Hydrosphere is the total mass of water found on the surface of the earth. Its components include ice sheets 
found in mountain region and all the water bodies such as lakes, ponds, rivers, seas, oceans, underground water and the water vapor present in the atmosphere. Igneous rocks The word igneous is derived from the Latin word ignis which means fire. The rock formed by solidification on the cooling of molten magma are called igneous rocks. Landslides A landslide is described as a mass of rocks, debris or earth moving down a slope. Landslides are a form of mass waste under the direct influence of gravity that indicates any downslope movement of rock and soil. The word landslide encompasses five forms of slope, moment, topples, flights, spreads, slides and flows. Lithosphere Lithosphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth. It is made up of rocks and minerals and covered by a thin layer of soil. It is an irregular surface with various landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plain, valley, etc. Lithospheric plates The Earth's crust consists of several large and small rigid, irregularly shaped plates on which the continents and the ocean floor floats. These floats are known as lithospheric plates. Lu. Lu is a local wind which hot and dry and blows in the northern plains of India during summers. Mantle. It is the layer that lies below the crust. The thickness of mantle is 2900 kilometers. Meanders When the river enters the plain, it loses its swiftness and the valley widens due to continuous erosion of banks of the river. The river makes several bands along its flow and these bands and loops are termed as meanders. Mediterranean Vegetation Mediterranean vegetation is mainly comprised of citrus fruits such as oranges, figs, olives and grapes. Mesosphere It is the third layer of atmosphere and it lies above the stratosphere. It extends up to a height of 80 km in this layer. Temperature rises very rapidly with increase in height. Ionosphere is a part of this layer. Metamorphic rock Metamorphic rocks are the rock that get formed under the great heat and pressure. Igneous and sedimentary rocks when subjected to heat and pressure, get transformed into metamorphic rock. For example, clay changes to slate and limestone into marble. Minerals Minerals are naturally occurring substance. They are not made up by human beings.
They have a chemical composition. Minerals are solid and have a definite structure and physical properties. Even the edible salt is a mineral. Ocean currents. The water on the surface of the ocean is constantly flowing in one direction from one place to another. This flowing movements of water in ocean are called ocean currents. They are caused by difference in the temperature and salinity of water by wind, solar heating and gravity. Precipitation Precipitation is the process by which take place once the water vapor condenses to form water droplets in cloud. And once they become heavy enough, fall to the ground in various forms. These forms include rainfall, snowfall, hail, etc. Population density Population density is the number of people living in a unit area of Earth's surface. It is normally expressed as per square kilometer. The average density of population in the whole world is 45% per square kilometer. Rock Any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth crust is called a rock. The earth crust is made up of various types of rock of different texture, size and color. Sedimentary rock When Big rocks break down into small fragments or sediments. The fragments are transported and deposited by factors like water and wind. The loose sediment compress and harden over the years to form a layer of rocks. These rocks are known as sedimentary rocks. Settlement A settlement is a place where people live and interact with each other. Settlements are of different types, ranging from villages and towns to cities and bustling metropolises. Sherbs Sherbs are medium-sized plants with bushy and hard but not thick stems with branches. There are stem branches out near the base. Example of shrubs are rose, lemon, henna, etc. Site The place where a building or a settlement develops is called its site. The natural conditions of an ideal site are favorable climate, availability of water, and suitable land. Slash and burn Slash and burn is a method of farming that involves clearing land by destroying and burning all the trees and plants on it. Farming there for a short time and then moving on to clear a new piece of land. Stakes Sea arches are formed when the caves become so hollow due to erosional work of sea waves that only the roof of caves remain further. When the sea waves break the roof and only wall remains, they are called stalks. Stratosphere It is 
the lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere. It is the second layer from the surface of the Earth. It extends up to a height of 8 km at the poles and 18 km at the equator. The layers extends up to the height of 50 km from Earth's surface. Temperate deciduous forest. These forests can be found towards higher latitudes. The area where they are found include northeastern part of USA, China, New Zealand, coastal regions of Western Europe, oak and birch are common trees of this forest. Deer, fox and wolf are the common animals. Temperate evergreen forest. These forests are commonly found along the eastern margin of continents. They comprise both hard and softwood trees. For example, oak, pine, eucalyptus, etc. Temperate grassland. These are the temperate grassland of North America. It is a region of flat, gently sloping or hilly land. Persis are almost treeless for most part. But near the low-lying plains, flanking river valleys, woodlands can be found. The landscape is dominated by tall grass up to 2 meters high. Temperature It is the degree of hotness or coldness of the air. It changes between day and night and from season to season. Terrarium A terrarium is an artificial enclosure used for keeping small house plants. Our earth is like a terrarium. Thermosphere The layer present right above the mesosphere extending to a height of 450 km is the thermosphere. This layer is composed of electrically charged ions that are responsible for reflecting the radio waves back to Earth's surface. Due to the presence of these ions, thermosphere is also known as ionosphere. Tides The rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is called a tide. Tides are caused by gravitational force exerted by the sun and the moon on the Earth's surface. Transhumance Transhumance is a seasonal movement of people. People who rear animals move in search of new pastures according to changes in the season. Tributaries Tributaries are small streams of water that join the mainstream river to increase its water supply. They originate from glaciers, lake, and underground water streams. They join the river during its course, mostly in its middle and younger stage. Tropical Deciduous Forest 
These forests are found in the regions which experience seasonal changes. Trees shed their leaves in dry season to conserve water. The hardwood trees like cell, teak, neem and cesium are found here. Animals like tigers, lions, elephants, langurs and monkeys are common in this forest. Tropical grassland. Tropical grassland or savannas are also called the homes of pyramids in Africa and Asia. No savanna living pyramid exists in South America. Tropical grassland comprise a mixture of trees and grasses. The proportion of trees to grasses vary directly with the rainfall. Troposphere The troposphere is the lowest layer of Earth's atmosphere. Most of the Mars, about 75 to 80 percent of atmosphere is in the troposphere. The bottom of troposphere is at Earth's surface. The troposphere extends upward to about 10 km, 6.2 miles or about 33,000 feet above the sea level. Tsunami A tsunami is a series of huge waves caused by shifting of large amount of ocean water. Tsunami are also caused by volcanic eruptions and underwater landslides. Tundra vegetation The tundra vegetation consists of lichens, mosses and small shrubs, which grow during the short summer season. The tundra vegetation is found in the polar region of Europe, Asia and North America. Volcano A volcano is a vent from which a combination of melted rock, solid rock, debris and gas erupts. It has a reservoir of molten material below the surface that is magma chamber is called magma. And when this magma arises, the surface it is called lava. Waves Waves are the rise and fall of water on the surface of the ocean. Waves are formed when winds scrape across the ocean surface. The stronger the wind blows, the bigger the wave becomes. During the storm, the wind blows at a very high speed and therefore huge waves are formed. Winds Winds refer to the air movement from high pressure to low pressure. It can be broadly defined into permanent wind, periodic wind and local winds. In simple word, the wind is nothing but a moving air. The air movement is always from high pressure to low pressure areas. So, here we have completed the glossary of class 7th in CRT Geography. Hope that all your concept regarding the glossary portion of NCRT class 7th is
is cleared. Hope that you like this video. Do share this video and thanks a lot for subscribing our channel. And if you are new here, then please do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so every time we upload a new video,